Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, still experimenting with the iPhone filming. Uh, for those of you that haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you would please, please subscribe to the channel. I really, my next target is 5,000 subscribers. Nice round number and I absolutely would love to get there. So your support is so much appreciated, you would not know. So I've got some unboxings. Uh, I'm going to say Happy Christmas from me to me. These aren't major. They're not major, but they're, yeah. Let's start off by just saying, wow. Absolute big, big wow. Here is some dual packaging. I got myself some makeup. That's all that's in here. It's just dual makeup. So... Let me unbox this for you. There's tissue paper. You can see I've already had a little bit of a go. Um, and that's what's in there. So I got myself a little blush and a lippy. And in here was just some freebies but it's a lovely thick pouch so it's the capture total as a freebie and also this ombre nuit which is quite a nice fragrance actually i have tried that already and really really liked it so that came in there as a freebie i'm going to start with the blush now i got this in what color did i get i think it was 219 can't see where it says let's just open it up oh yeah 219 rose montane shimmer so the various different ones so that's what it looks like hopefully you can see that And let's just have a little go at putting it on, shall we? Comes with the reason I got this was that it comes with a little brush. So I don't know how good the brush will be, but it's quite good for if you're on the go. And you know sometimes the blusher fades, and you think, oh actually, I wouldn't mind just a little update. So yeah. It's just it's sort of like a co slightly corally pink, which I thought was quite good for my skin tone. So we have this. Now this is being quite sought after and it sort of comes in, so I just got all this off the website, comes in, stock, comes out of stock. So this is the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid in 999 but sequin. Now fortunately my lips are slightly dry. Just I think this change of weather, I keep putting lip balm on but they just still seem to be really dry so this is a like a proper red so that'll do for now this is actually quite a precise applicator so I really like that it's nice and small and compact and it also it screws up and it feels really secure so you're not going to worry too much about it spilling out in your bag Although obviously I, it's me, so it's always going to be in a pouch or something anyway. But you never know, never say never, particularly with mini bags. So put it on, it just looks like a normal red. And then what you do is, apparently after five minutes, but I might do it slightly quicker because it's me and I'm impatient, is you smoosh your lips together and then you get the shimmer effect. Don't know if you can see that. Coming in close. So anyway, that was some makeup bits that I just thought I would show you very, very quickly. Now then, we have, we've got lots of exciting things. I'm going through a bit of that whole like classic 
mixture of creams and beiges. And let's just go straight with this one. This is an Hermes unboxing. Let's just do it. Let's just go straight to Hermes. And then I'll talk you through why I've got this. If I can undo it. <laughs> so let me show you what's in here. So in here, we have a little Hermes unboxing, woohoo. So all the details are in there, but we're just gonna discard that for now because that's not the interesting bit, is it? This is the interesting bit. So let's undo the ribbon. I love these, it's just so much fun. And I got this from the Hermes website. Yes, it's another SLG. I know, I don't need any more SLGs, but it's a Calvi. I'm a sucker for a Calvi. Not only that, it's a Calvi duo. So this is basically Calvi and Bastia coin purse coming together and breeding, and you get this little beauty here. So this is exactly the same as you would get on a normal Calvi. And then on this side, you have a little pouchy pouchy that you can use for, well, you can fit a card in there or you can put change, whatever you want. And then there's a tiny little slot on, in the back there as well. And typically I'd probably put things like my driver's license and like my donor card there. Um, so you've got that and then like whatever cards I need there and then a little bit of cash in there. Don't, not too much. And to be honest, I mean, with Apple Pay and that now, I don't use too much at all. So I basically got this because it's in the colour Natter. Um, I, I've been having my eye on one of these. Um, Pamela from Bag Addict 71, she's got, well, she's got two of these now. Uh, and I was like, yeah, they look really good. It's a really good idea. And I, I'm a sucker for a Calvi. I've said before, I think it's one of the best card holders. Um, and yeah, so to have that and the Bastia sort of in one, I think is brilliant. Also, it's Epsom, so it's going to be durable. It's going to be fairly worry-free. Uh, my Burn Mini Wallet, sometimes I worry about because it's in Rose Secure and Chev, and I think, oh, am I going to dent? Am I going to just like dent it? I know from use of another Calvi that I've got, which is in Epsom as well, that I used it, used it, used it, used it, and it looks brand new still. So yes, I look after my stuff and I'm fairly careful, but I also know that they are durable. Yeah. I wanted one that went with at least one of my bag colours. Now you'll be able to see here that it is slightly different. If you look at Natta in the colour Chev compared to, sorry, look at the colour Natta in the Chev leather compared to the Epsom leather, you'll be able to see that it is a little bit different. Not just the grain, but also the colour. I would say, that in the Epsom, it's is it a bit yellower. It's slightly different, but I'm I'm fine with that. And if I put it right in the middle, you can see there. So yeah, I'm absolutely fine with that being different. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got it to go with that. I also thought it would go amazingly. Oh, it does amazingly well with my little mini peekaboo there. So yeah, so that just slots into my mini peekaboo really really nicely um it will also go with countless bags it'll go with my raffia never fall it will go with i guess i could fit a full size purse in that but i don't want to i don't i don't carry that much so i don't like carrying things bigger than i need and um, so yeah we'll go with that never fall it will also go with my Berenia 2424 in size 35 because that's got this like pale stitching. So I think I just can't really go wrong. Um, but like I say, mainly I got it to go with this because I would just, like I said, I wanted a duo to match at least one of my Hermes bags. It's part of my cream phase. 
I also got these little booties from Marks and Spencers. And you can see it goes with my Cezanne little cardigan. So yeah, I could absolutely wear this cardigan with these boots and a pair of like pale, um, like pale blue jeans or darker jeans that, that pick out this flower here. Now, don't order from Suzanne if you want quick delivery. Um, this took like, I suppose it's only over a week. I ordered it on the 6th. I ordered this on the, oh, this took, this took 10 days. I see this, these, these took 10 days to come. It's one item. This is from Suzanne. The packaging is gorgeous. So I thought to get into, but gorgeous nonetheless. I should probably open it carefully actually. There's a strong likelihood that this is going back. Oh, oops. She says destroying the box by accident. Quite lovely. Oh no, oh, it's so interesting, isn't it? As you can see. as interested as ever in what I'm doing. Oh yeah, you are. Just move, move the Kelly out the way of that big, big fat beagle, but tum tum, shall we? And the cow wheel. Right. So, what was with this box unboxing? Oh, it's the car I wanted. Okay. They were doing a freebie. With all orders, they were doing a freebie tote. And, but you couldn't select what colour, but I really liked this colour and I was like, oh, yeah, like I said, it's free totes, so who cares? Um, it's like a corduroy. It's like a soft corduroy little tote bag that's lined as well. So that's not bad for a bit freebie. I know you're interested. Yeah. I bet you just go and sit somewhere. Good boy. So that's that. And then what I got here are some trousers so I'll put a, I will put links in the description box to as much stuff as I can I got these as part of my like cream and beige phase now these are cropped it's massive loose cotton on them it's a good start right let's just come out I have no idea what I am, what size I am at the moment. I ordered these in a size 36. I tried in store a size 34 in a different style and they were the stuff they went on, they did up, but they're like a little bit too tight. I talked about that in a previous video. So I got these, I thought, you know what, they're slightly cropped, but they might go quite nicely with my boots. Not perfect, but that's fine. I'm just going for like a tonal. Just very much going for a tonal look. Um, I think they go with this. Peekaboo, it's just fallen against me. Again, you can see all the colours that I'm going for. So I will try these on and let you know in a second if these are any good or not. So that's the trousers on. I'm not sure. I think they're nice trousers. They feel a nice quality, but because I'm a bit larger in the hips, especially at the moment, and I'm sort of between my, I'm bigger than my normal size and I'm short and I feel like they're not the most flattering on. Like I said, I've shown you a little clip there of the mod shots. And they look, I think it looks, they look great with the boots. I think they look great with the bags, but I just think the length is wrong on me. And that's not the trousers fault. That's my fault. Well, it's not really my fault, but yeah, I'm short. And I think they're not sitting. I think they need to either be longer or shorter. And I know I could get them taken up, but I just feel like they're probably taking a bit too much off my leg. And that was always my concern with them from the beginning. Um, but I liked them and I thought it was worth at least giving it a go. So I did. So <laughs> that was all I had to show you. I'm so, so pleased with the Calvi and I'll do you a quick comparison. Hold on.
Okay, so here is the Calvi Duo compared to a normal Calvi, and mine is in Chev Mysore in the colour Rose Etty. It's now called Rose Dutty, um, like D apostrophe E T E, but it was just Etty at the time that I bought it, which I bought in Paris in I think 2018, something like that. So you can see it's the tiny, tiniest bit, um, like wider, I guess. The length is, I'd say, pretty much exactly the same. You can see that. And yeah, depth, I think because of that extra pocket, whilst it, look, you could squash it down. Uh, if you just hold it loose, you can see it does naturally open up a little bit more, but that's not going to stop you fitting it into a small bag. Uh, and here is the Bastia coin purse. So if you look at all three, if I can hold that much. Should be able to, it's not rocket science. Right, there we go. So there you can see all three held up. Uh, but this, like I say, is basically both of these in one. And then the other one I was just going to show you is this, which is the very, very beautiful Chev Mysore Burn Mini Wallet. So it's not the card, it's a mini wallet in Rose Sakura with Palladium hardware. So you can see size wise, it's pretty much identical. Um, the depth of the burn, let me do it this way, you can see the depth of the burn is slightly more. And um, similar in inside, you've got a slot there, popper section there. Again, room behind the popper section. So pretty similar, a bit more organisation in this. This is definitely, it definitely feels a more substantive purse if that makes sense. Um, this is a lot more lightweight and um, lightweight and fancy free. This is a, a lot more lightweight, but it's still got that element of organization. Obviously different closure, quick snap closure. So, you know, less branding. This is a bit fiddly. And I'm also really, really careful that I don't damage that little point there, that I don't uh, ruin that on the H. They can become a bit scuffed over time. So I am careful with it, but it's a beautiful purse. I do love this. And I got this used at a bargain price. So yeah, so that is that. Um, do let me know what you think of the pieces. I would love to hear it. What's your favourite SLG? Uh, do you have a favourite type of card holder? Because there's so many types. And, you know, I do like the flat card holder types. And there's, there was one on the Hermes website the other day in blue jean with um, like a caban silk interior. If I hadn't already had ordered this one, that was very tempting. But I'm like, no, you don't need any more flat card holders. I have three flat card holders, two Chanel, one Louis Vuitton. But I was like, I really need an Hermes flat card holder, don't I? No, of course I don't. Um, but I did get this. Uh, also, let me know what you think of the lippy. The shimmer is quite subtle, but hopefully I was able to show you enough on camera what that looked like without getting too close and scary. Uh, but I just think sometimes it's nice to have a little a little different festive look and I think I'm going to return the trousers is where we're at but I share with you the good and the bad and like I say they're not bad trousers um, I just don't have the figure for them um, it's a fact of life and <laughs> move on really I have other trousers it's not the end of the world there's some ones by Hollister that I may even try that are full length and a bit cheaper than these. I, I do feel like I need in my wardrobe a pair of cream trousers. I've got all of these other sort of like items and pieces of clothing. I do feel like I need it. Anyway, that's it from me. By the time this goes out, it's probably gonna be about two days before Christmas. So I'm gonna wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you have a nice time. For those of you that have seen family, enjoy it. And for those of you that not, I, you know, everyone's got different circumstances at Christmas. Some people don't celebrate it, you know, what, what not. And some people just have bad experiences. Uh, so that digging myself into a hole any more than I already have. I do hope that you take care 
and I do hope that you all, oh, see, I always want you to have a wonderful day, whatever the day, even if it's a crappy work day, I want you to have a wonderful crappy work day. Um, and again, people will be working on Christmas day. Um, so yeah, happy Christmas is what I meant. Let's leave it at that. And I'll see you very soon for another one. Um, not an unboxing. I've got some review videos planned. Got some, you know, bags versus bags. Let's see. Um, I thought I would film the Mini Rudy versus the Mini Constance because they're very, very close comparison. Anything else that you'd like, then please do put that in the comments section below. Bye-bye.